is this is a homage beat. Oh, it's that time again. It's 2K Kingslayer, aka 2KK, back again here in the 2K film room. We break down various gameplay. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a freelance that a lot of you guys had asked me to cover, and that is the 4 out 1 in freelance. We are also going to be mixing in some Memphis Grizzly money plays. So let's take a look at today's agenda. Uh, we're going to start off in the 2KU scrimmage mode so that I can show you guys what this freelance and these plays look like. Then we're going to show an online gameplay demonstration so you all can see that this does work against human beings online. And then we're going to jump into the post-game show uh, where I give my final thoughts on this scheme and talk to you guys about various topics. All right, so let's jump right into the 2KU scrimmage mode here. Quick reminder, to call a freelance, what you're going to do is tap right on the D-pad and you're going to tap L1 to select freelance sets. And then you're going to tap the icon of the freelance that you want to run. All right, so let's jump right into it. Uh, we're going to jump into the 2KU right here. So you're going to notice here for the four out one in freelance, there's motion, but not a lot of the motion is leading to direct scoring options. Um, there's one or two that do, and I'm going to show you that in just a second, but you're going to see it's a lot of just guys kind of moving around the outside. Um, with your center on the inside, hence why it's called four out one in. Now here's one scoring option. Swing the ball, pin down screen, three pointer. That shows up in a lot of freelances, but I'll show you again, just in case. We're gonna swing the ball to the strong side, pin down screen, guy from the corner comes up and hits a three. Uh, here's another scoring option. You get the ball into the post, you're going to call the guy on the strong side corner to cut. And if that doesn't work, you just go to work in the post like that with Marcus Saul. So one more time, we're calling a manual cut by holding triangle and pointing to the guy on the strong side corner. It doesn't work, so we go inside with Marcus Saul. Now, obviously, you can hit that guy on the cut if he does get free. Um, OK, so another thing you could do is we can sort of create our own weave action here by holding circle and pointing to the guys that are that we are moving towards. And at the end of that, we call a pick and roll. Okay, so a little bit more advanced. We end up getting a three out of it, but just to show you guys the idea one more time, I went over this in the Lakers playbook tutorial, actually. Um, that's an actual weave play, but we're gonna create our own. So we move towards another guy, hold circle. They'll come and get the ball from you. Could create some mismatches off of that. At the end, when the clock is running down, you call your pick and roll. And that time, we find Mr. Triple J in the corner for three. I like Jaron Jackson a lot. Now for our plays. Reminder, to call a play, you're going to tap L1. You're then going to select the icon of the player you want to run the play for. And then you're going to select the icon of the play that you want to run. Nice and easy. All right, so uh, again, these are in the Memphis Grizzlies playbook. So this first one is called Fist 1-5, Slip 5 Out. What we're going to do there is ignore the initial pass. We're going to receive a screen from Marcus Gasol. He's going to pop out and knock down the three. So pick and fades work very well if you've got Marcus Gasol on your team or a similar stretch five sort of center. That's a true five out option right there. So uh, here's another option. This time we are going to make that initial pass. Mike Conley goes around an off ball screen and he's going to take it inside. So we'll show that one more time. There's that pass to the center. Then the guy from the corner is going to come up, set a baseline screen. Conley is going to come around, and there's nobody there to meet him at the rim. Nice, easy layup. Okay, another option. Same play. Exact same play. Okay, Conley comes off of that. And that time the screener slipped. That's why that word slip is in the play name. So he comes up. He slips and puts it in. Nice and easy, right? All right, so let's go to another play. This one's called Quick One Elevator Rip. You guys may remember this from 2K18. This was one of my favorite plays in the game. So let's take a look at some of the ways that we can score using this play. Inside, Conley scores. So we're gonna show that one more time. Okay, so we're gonna start by passing the ball off here. And we're gonna get an off-ball screen for Mike Conley. 
It's gonna get inside, and if he's open under the basket, get it to him right away. Be careful of that pass, because that can be easily picked off. But that does work sometimes. Now, here's another option. After that screen occurs, sometimes they're gonna get either a mismatch, or if your opponent is playing off ball, sometimes he's gonna sag and leave that three wide open. So one more time, there's the screen. They pay too much attention to Mike Conley. And we knock down a three off of that one. And now, this one's the bread and butter, okay? This is the full play. Gonna get that initial screen, as we've been getting. And this option is most likely gonna take your full shot clock, so just be aware of that. Okay, and here come the elevators, those double screens that close off like elevator doors. Mike Conley swings around and knocks down a three, as you saw, so we're gonna show one more time. So, the screen didn't work there, a little glitchy, but the play continued. Mike Conley comes through the elevator doors, butta, bing, and that's it. All right, so that's our scheme. Took a little while to go over it, but now we're gonna demonstrate that scheme in action against the team that I hate playing against, the Milwaukee Bucks. Is this guy gonna do the spin dunk cheese with Giannis? Well, we're gonna have to see. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so we start off with some handoff action. Again, we do that by holding circle and pointing to an off-ball man. And we pass the ball around a little bit, and look at that. Nice, easy score inside. So we hand the ball off. Noah comes up. Little slip. He's no good from outside, but... We find Jeff Green inside for the easy dunk. All right, so we're going to move on here. 2.37 remaining in the second. And we're going to go... This time we're going we're gonna to do that uh, automatic branch that occurs from the 4-out 1-in, the simple pin-down screen. Again, it's simple and it's in pretty much every freelance, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. So there we go, outside, bada-bing, another easy look. That time it's a three-pointer. So let's go now to one of the money plays in that scheme that I went over. So fist 1-5, slip 5-out. So we get it to Marcus All here. Off ball screen, Conley, 4-3, butta, bing. Actually, that's a long two. We don't like those. Daryl Morey does not like those, but that's okay. It was open, so we had to take it. Wish he had taken a step back, but that's all right. So we move along here. Houston up by four. Little handoff here, it didn't work. So we're gonna try that again. There's a handoff. Now we're going with the weave action. Inside, dump off pass, Joachim Noah. He's back, baby. Joachim is alive. So again, little weave action. We're doing that by holding circle, pointing to our guys off ball to come get it. And Joachim Noah, or Joachim Noah, however you want to pronounce it. The J is silent, maybe. I have no idea. Haven't a clue. That time we find Joachim again, and he is going off. By Joakim Noah standards, anyway. Four points. Unbelievable. Resurgence. So, back to the slip play once again. Off ball, and look at that. We play with it a little bit. Oh yeah, that was pretty. Oh yeah. We passed, look at that, we passed to the screener, then called for an off ball cut. That's an audible right there. Tricky play. Sheldon Mack. Poor guy's name is Sheldon. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, we move along here. We go to one of my favorite plays in 2K, the elevator. That time, Caspi came around the two screens. He didn't even go through the doors. He took the stairs on that elevator play and knocked it down. His jump shot is pretty smooth, by the way, nice and quick. So we're gonna work out of the four out one in once again. We find Mike Conley again inside, so let's run that back. Marcus Saul in the middle. We sent Conley to cut. And Chris Paul fell asleep for just a second there, and Conley finishes with the right hand. That's actually his offhand. He's a southpaw. Some people say that left-handed players shoot better in 2K. I don't think that's necessarily true. But anyway, pick and pop there for Mark Gasol knocking it down. And we cut the lead to five, so they gotta call a timeout here in the fourth. They've been leading for most of this game. We play good defense, we're gonna push it in transition here. Caspi for three, but a bing. 
again, cutting the lead to four now. So good defense once again. Marcus All grabs the board. 45 seconds remaining. We are down four. What are we going to do? Well, look at this. We had Jackson open. We missed him. That's okay. That time it's Wayne Selden Jr. He had a three-pointer there. But we forced him to make a bad pass. Down by only two now. So we're going to go back to the elevator play. We know this is going to take most of the game clock. Only 22 seconds remaining on the game and 13 on the shot clock. So here we go. Going to look for those elevator doors. Conley right through the middle. Next floor, please. Bada bing. Mike Conley knocks it down. One point lead. What a clutch shot from Mike Conley. So not a lot of time left. Got to lock it down on defense here. And they screwed up. Great defense from Mark Gasol. And we get the one-point victory using the four-out, one-in scheme with those Grizzlies money plays. Hell of a game. These are the games that I like to show you guys because keeps it interesting. I don't like showing you guys 20-point blowouts. That's no fun. Who wants to see that? Eh, maybe some of you guys do, but... They're not as fun to me as these one-point games. Anyway, Mark Gasol, double-double, 14 and 10. And uh, the rest of the scoring, we kind of just, just distributed to everybody. But yeah, man, let's take a look at the team comparison so you guys can see how we did overall as a squad. So we actually didn't shoot very well. 44% and only 30, what is that? 38% from three. But I sound like a broken record at every video. Assists. Bench points and time of possession. The big categories. We won all of those. So now let's jump into the post game show. Um, yeah, so I am not a huge four out one in guy. Um, it's cool if you want to create your own manual actions. Like, I actually do like to run that little weave there. But I don't know. That weave play, it's already in the game. Um,. You can kind of work out of it yourself, I guess, if that's what you're into, if you don't like running plays per se. And the spacing, obviously, in the four out one in is, it works. I'm not saying that this freelance doesn't work, but it doesn't have as much off ball action that leads to scoring opportunities that I normally like. And it's kind of boring. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going over it because, you know, it's the closest thing to a five out freelance that we have. I know people are obsessed with the five out, uh, but yeah. Not one of my favorite freelances by any stretch of the imagination. I liked running the money plays more than the freelance with this, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, four out, one in. It works. Not saying it doesn't work, but definitely not one of my favorites. Um, okay, so as part of the post-game show, I do like to just talk to you guys about random topics. And it's not to fill time. It's because I like interacting with you guys about different things. So I do want to bring this up real quick. I mentioned this in a previous video. But I really like the new Super Smash Brothers game, Smash Ultimate. I like it so much that I purchased the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I hope that that's a good investment. Because um, other than that, I mean, Breath of the Wild I want to play, but I really don't know any other, <laughs> any other Switch games that I would be super into. Nintendo games are not usually my thing, but man, I fell in love with Smash Ultimate. So I may be posting some Smash content it probably would not be on this channel. I'm probably gonna use an old secondary channel that has been dormant for quite a while. Once I get that going, I'll post the link to that. But let me, I'm just curious. I know I asked you guys already, uh, but you know, let me know if you wanna see some Smash content. And also, if you guys are Nintendo Switch heads or Switch fans or whatever you might wanna call it, let me know what other games besides Smash and Breath of the Wild, I should look out for for the Switch. Because I'm not a Nintendo connoisseur by any stretch of the imagination. I've been a Sony guy for a long time. So, but yeah, guys, uh, as per always, please like and subscribe. Really helps out my channel. Next up, I believe I'm going to be doing the Swing Freelance. Uh, always fun. I like to Swing Freelance a lot. So, yeah, like, subscribe. We'll be back soon. Until then, happy gaming, y'all.